everyone, so I'm sorry it's been a while since I posted a video. I have been sick for the past week and a half or so, um, like with a really awful cold, and so I've been like coughing up my lungs basically for the past week. Um, so that's why there hasn't been anything up, but I just filmed a video with a friend doing her makeup for like a natural smoky type of look. And then today I'm going to be doing a favorites video for you. I don't have a ton of favorites, but I do have some, so this might be a little bit quick. So I just wanted to share the things that I've been loving with you guys this past month. And because I have been loving them so much, like so, so, so much. And I have, I think... A few few new products that I haven't really shared before. let's actually talk about the fact that there's a Christmas tree because I know some people might address it um, yes I have already decorated for Christmas let me explain it is because I am going home in December for two weeks so I really just wanted time to actually be able to enjoy having the decorations up in my apartment and if I did it after Thanksgiving then I basically only have two weeks to enjoy them and that's just not enough time for me because I love Christmas so now that that's done and all said and well, um, let me know if you guys want like a Christmas decoration haul or like how I decorate my apartment for Christmas time, blah, 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 blah. And I will get to that if you guys want to watch it. So I'm going to get into the favorites. So I want to spotlight a little brand that has come over here to the US. Um, it is a little known brand called Charlotte Tilbury and when I say little I use that very loosely because actually she's very wildly known. Um, if you guys have watched any of the UK bloggers or YouTubers you probably have heard of it before but Charlotte has launched here in the US so she launched her um, line first in New York and then she came about a week later here to LA so um, I got a little spot in her release party at Nordstrom and got to go and it was so exciting and I love all of the products. I've been waiting for Charlotte Tilbury to come over here for ages. So um, I picked up a few of the products. They are pricey so bear that in mind. But the first thing I got was one of her eye palettes and this is in the Vintage Vamp. These colors are just like unbelievably beautiful. Like her colors and formulations and everything that she does is just truly one of a kind. Um, I'll give them a little swatch. They are so soft, so pigmented, and ugh. I mean, they're just gorgeous. I absolutely love them. So this is the Vintage Vamp, so it's very berry, very sexy and sultry and very appropriate for this fall time. I was thinking about doing a fall look with this palette. I am absolutely and unbelievably obsessed with it. It is just Oh, the prettiest thing in the world and then the other product is the film star bronze and glow which I have been I, I can't even I can't even tell you how obsessed I am especially with this sculpt shade it is like the perfect contour color it is not too warm it's not too dark it's warm enough to bronze your face but it is not too cool that it would look weird if you were to bronze up your face with it it is so unbelievably gorgeous I mean she I think really hit the nail on the head with this palette it is amazing it's a little bit pricey um, it is $65 for the bronzer and the highlighter it does come together which I guess it's not that bad since you're getting two products but these products are on the higher end of the spectrum just bear that in mind but the holidays are coming up so if this is something you guys might be interested in then definitely, definitely try to check it out. Oh, and they just launched in Chicago as well. So she's expanding, so hopefully she will come to a store near you very, very soon. The second thing that I have been loving is this blush. It's from MAC. It was limited edition. It's called Cheeky Bugger. It was a part of the Kelly Osbourne range that came out back in June. But um, I kind of didn't really use this that much. I bought it because I thought it was pretty. And then I started to really use it um, this past month. And I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's the prettiest, healthiest kind of color for, at least for my skin tone. But I think this would look amazing on so many different skin tones. It is so beautiful. It's more of a satin finish than 
um, a matte or a shimmer, but I absolutely love it. It is the prettiest, prettiest pink color. If you guys want to check out this type of color and you can't get it anymore except maybe off of eBay, I would suggest going into a MAC store and asking them what they think is similar to this shade. And then you guys can maybe get a little something similar if you don't already have it. But I am absolutely in love with this shade. So if you want to try to find it on eBay and pay that money for it, then go ahead. And then I have two lip products. The first one is a Lime Crime Velveteen. And it's in the color Wicked. I think this color is just unbelievably gorgeous. It is a super deep red. Um, kind of similar to the one I have on right now, but this is in a matte formula, which is why I love it. Um, they just feel really great on the lips, and they're not too drying, and they stay on forever. And then the second lip product that I have is a lip gloss. This is my all-time favorite lip gloss um, when I wear nude lips. When I wear nude lips, I feel like I need a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of a slip to... Um, the nude lip that I'm wearing otherwise it just doesn't look right on me and I think it's because I'm so fair so I love to top off every nude lip that I wear with this gloss and this is the Urban Decay Naked Gloss in Native and then lately I have been obsessed obsessed with wearing individual eyelashes normally I would not take the time to put these on myself it is just so fussy I love putting them on clients but I'll just never take the time when I'm getting ready to put them on myself but lately I have been wearing them and I just love that the extra little oomph that they give me and they just look really natural and they're more comfortable than a strip and I just love them and I specifically love the Ardell individuals the not free ones are so much easier to apply and they're just they're great. I love them. Moving on to skincare. Because I've been so sick, my skin has been so dry lately. Um, so one of my saving graces during this dry time is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And um, this stuff is thebomb.com. I put it on before I do my makeup. I put it on at night. Like, it's just so good. I don't know what's in it that makes it so good, but it's amazing. They have been using it backstage at fashion shows for years and models pester her about getting a hold of this. I have a little sample that I got from the event that I went to, um, but otherwise this is really expensive. I, I don't know if I'll be able to bring myself to dish out the money that it costs to get the full size, but I might have to because it's that good. And then I have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Treatment Mask. This stuff you can use at night before you go to bed. You can do just a nice coat of it and leave it on for 10 minutes and take it off. I typically just massage a nice amount of it into my skin and then I sleep with it on. But this has been a lifesaver for when my skin is getting dry. It just really helps to soak up and really nourish all of those dry patches. And it's just, it's great. It smells like, like sun and coconuts and sunscreen and everything summery, which is kind of misleading in winter slash fall. But it is amazing. And if you guys have dry skin and you need something to just really nourish it overnight, I really suggest this. And lately in the month of October and now I have just really been loving curling my hair and I have two different curling irons that I like to do that with. When I want a tighter kind of messier curl I like to use my Con Air 1 inch curling wand and then when I like a looser curl like the one I have now I use my Hot Tools 1.5 barrel iron. I love these two. They're not crazy expensive. I'm pretty sure you can get them both at Ulta but they are just they're amazing. I love them. I will admit when I first got this I was skeptical as if it would be really good because most time Conair curling irons aren't, but this one is amazing and I love both of these. Now for my last favorite, I have a food item which I don't typically do, but I think I'm so obsessed with these that I love them. They are the Signature Cafe Salads. They're pre-made salads. They come with all of the, the fixings on the inside. And if there's something that you don't like, you don't have to put it on the salad. Then it comes with the right amount of dressing. But I have lately been trying to lead a healthier lifestyle. And pre-made salads are like the bomb diggity because I am lazy. And I don't like having to make things myself most of the time. And this makes it really easy for when I go to work. We don't have a microwave at my job. So it makes it really easy to just stick it in the fridge and then fix it all up together and I absolutely love them. They are so tasty. They have so many different options. This one's my favorite. It's the Southwest style salad. I get them at Pavilions or Vons. Um, 
but if you ever see them in a store near you, I suggest picking them up because they're the best. So that is everything. I know it wasn't super long, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I have been loving and just get a quick little video out there for you guys. And then I'm going to upload my one with my friend Nick right after this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow all of my social media. All of them will be listed down below. And I love you guys and thank you for sticking around.